six volt. All right, I've got a DC six volt uh, electric motor, and I've got liquid nitrogen. Dun, dun, dun. And we're gonna do uh, a r run test here to see what happens as this goes down to 300 below. Will the bearing seize up, or will it get faster as the conductivity of the copper wire windings increase? So coming up to six volts. And we are barely drawing an amp. So into the liquid nitrogen we go. Hopefully without the thing falling off this time. <laughs> Now here's the thing falling down. Keep a close eye on the amperage there. Decker, keep your hand out of there. I do hear it getting faster. I, I don't see any increase. We're going to lift it out for a second. I think what we're seeing is liquid oxygen igniting in it, but I'm not sure why it's arcing like that. Okay. Back up to We're drawing upwards of five five amps when it does that. That's incredible. It's still running. It's got arcs jumping around inside of it. But I'm wondering wondering if the uh, if the if the shellac coating on the magnet wire fa failed. And we're still... Haven't changed volts, it'll say, say it's 6 volts, but... That's the normal, I'm going to dip it in the liquid nitrogen again. These are motors now certified to go to the outer planets. <laughs> it is interesting how we're getting that kind of cross arcing. And when it ever happens, it jumps to about five amps. You can see. Ah, uh, we seized it. <laughs> 